You knew you needed to purchase short-term international medical coverage, but now that you have a claim, what do you do? Let's take a look at best practices for submitting a claim to help you maximize your benefit in the quickest time frame possible. So the first type of claim is the non-emergency, non-hospital or outpatient illness, injury care or prescriptions, usually very inexpensive. This process is simple. Simply pay the bill and get the receipt. Make sure it has the date and any pertinent information on it, even if there is no charge, and collect any medical documents that are available. Then, download and fill out the claim form online and send to the insurance company along with the copies or pictures of any receipts and medical documents. Eligible charges will be reimbursed or applied to your deductible or coinsurance based on whichever plan you have. The second type of claim is the serious claim, the inpatient hospital illness, surgery, or major test claim. You or someone on your behalf needs to contact the insurance company and pre-certify your stay within 48 hours. This needs to happen for three very important reasons. In an emergency, pre-certification can be done after you seek the best facility available. Always get care first in the case of an emergency. The guarantee of payment process should be initiated during the same phone call in order to simplify the discharge process with the hospital. The three reasons to pre-certify are, number one, to verify that the facility you are in has the appropriate staff and equipment necessary for your medical needs. If the insurance company determines the facility is inadequate, the insurance company will arrange for your transportation to an appropriate facility. Number two, they will establish how the bills will be paid, either direct billing, where the insurance company will seek to establish a direct billing relationship with the medical provider where the bills are sent directly to the insurance company. You or someone on your behalf must provide the insurance company with the medical provider's contact email and information so communication can be established. Most medical providers in third world or emerging countries do not normally work with insurance companies and operate on a cash system basis, which is where the second payment option comes in, the guarantee of payment. The insurance company will offer a GOP document to pay the bill. You or someone on your behalf must provide the insurance company with the medical provider's contact email and information so communication can be established. If the direct billing or the GOP attempts by the insurance company are rejected, the insured has the responsibility to pay the bill and seek reimbursement through the claim filing process. And the third reason is to maximize 100% of your benefit. If you don't pre-certify with the insurance company, your available benefits are reduced to 50%. What happens if I have both international medical insurance and domestic insurance? Oftentimes, individuals travel and maintain their domestic health insurance issued by the United States. When you return to the United States, the insurance carriers will coordinate to cover both expenses initiated internationally, as well as continuing expenses domestically, if there is continued care. Let's take a look at how this happens. Your primary coverage equals your domestic insurance, Medicare or Medicaid coverage that will not pay any benefits outside the US. Secondary coverage is your international insurance. Now, if you have no domestic coverage in place, your international insurance becomes primary. Each company has their complementary roles in the process. When you file a claim, you'll file with both insurance companies at the same time within 90 days of the illness or injury. The primary company will complete their process and inform you of their decision with a document called an Explanation of Benefits, or EOB. The secondary company will place your claim in a pending status. Now, once you receive the EOB from your primary company, submit the EOB and copies of billing statements to the secondary company. This enables the secondary company to complete their claim process and reimburse additional eligible expenses. Now, what if you get stumped in any phase through this whole process? Just zip us an email at service at missionsafe.com.